Hello survivors and welcome to another video. Quick disclaimer, this is the beta version of the game which was released yesterday so things are subject to change. There are going to be some bugs and things that need fixing so you know bear in mind with that as we go on with this. Uh, this is available if you are on discord, there are steps to follow on how to join the beta but uh, otherwise you can just watch my channel and you'll see everything that is going to be released next week. So first off the next tier on Yggdrasil tree has been unlocked uh, we do they did move things around and add burn damage and poison damage because burning poison and paralyze that can now be uh, placed on bosses so the bosses are affected by these things as you can see i have moved my tree over more to the combat side of it because of the new area being really difficult they have added new relics uh, we got burning projectiles combustion electric cage Poison Cloud, Infection, Poison Projectiles, Infernal, Pendant, and then obviously the new weapons and their ascensions. So a lot of the new relics have to deal with the, the debuffs, the Poison, Electric, and everything like that. And let's take a look at the new level. Now Helga is in a, a weird spot right now. I wouldn't actually say a weird spot. They toned her down a bit because her ultimate was a little bit unfair if you had to compare it to any of the other characters so they've kind of toned her down they nerfed her ulti so what happens now is as you can see over here each time you take a sip you grant a buff that will stack each time she takes a sip so the the buffs are, are limited to the amount of time so over here you can only get five buffs 10 buffs and 25 buffs that's all based on the level of the LT and how many times you've used it so like let's say you have one area of effect one damage and one uh, crit that's three out of five and then each time they get increased it takes one away from the total so you can only upgrade certain things and to a maximum of 25 times so very interesting change i don't i mean i just did a run with her where i didn't really feel like i saw much of a difference but it, it does make a difference obviously you don't really have to worry about stacking her ulti in the beginning of the game to be able to get to those end game huge destruction numbers so it's not necessary to really rush her ulti as much anymore because it has been nerfed to the extent that you can get it a little bit later obviously we're still going to get her ulti and probably still rush it just because you know being able to stack it better i mean earlier is better for us anyway just because of how helga moves or deals damage and everything like that so new things we've got new shrines new enemies as you can see when we see the new elites we'll speak about them there are three of them there is a like a warlock there is the bat and then there is the hobgoblin or goblin and there's the goblins i don't know if there are goblins i guess there are what they do uh, well because we had so much damage over there is they jump on you or jump towards you and then they uh, they kind of fall in a, a 90 degree angle and that will hit you twice if you aren't careful so if they they jump towards you and they, your, their body kind of passes over yours it will deal damage and then they still land and hit the ground which will deal damage if you are in the way and then next we had those other goblin that you saw turned red it is a normal mob it's not an elite but they are uh, like suicide bombers so they run to you at a bo with a bomb and explode and that deals damage to you now the other thing that's new is the shrine that you're just seeing me run over this is called the time shrine now so you have to stay in the circle for 15 seconds and then time uh, then you unlock it but if you don't stay in the circle it will reset the timer and you have to then start over from scratch now the other thing is remember i said there was another elite uh, as you can see that uh, goblin over there that's the elite and his ability is those purple lines over there he causes uh uh dis like disruptions to your movement speed so he doesn't deal damage but you can't walk through those lines so enemies can walk through them but we can't so really 
annoying at times uh, it can get you killed if you're not careful and the other enemy as well the other elite also again doesn't deal damage to you but does something to you that's going to get you killed if you aren't careful so the elites are a lot more dangerous on this map in terms of what they do to you uh, not just flat out damage to you so very scary stuff we do need to finish leveling here so we can ascend to shuffler and that's going to help us now uh, clear a lot better and to stay alive so there we go we are probably going to rush to the healing uh, side of the tree to get that healing heart just so that we can survive uh, that was one of the new relics okay you can get it twice in a map it's 15 seconds and then i think 35 seconds are the two different time shrines that you get the next shrine is this one over here it uses three of your level up points to unlock the shrine and that's giving us the new thunder relic which we don't need for helga so we aren't going to spend our points on that we are going to take the stick though for the extra attack speed and damage if i decide to actually stand on it now there's the bomber goblins as you can see he's running towards us if you saw he didn't attack us right away and that is because the, those goblins have i'll call it a tether range so or a, 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 yeah we'll call it a tether range once they're in a certain range with uh, in your of your character they will then sprint to or they go red and then sprint towards you and try and blow up on you but until you're in that range they kind of just uh, float around and run towards you at a normal speed so there you go you can see it there he got into range and he blew up <laughs> we also got hit by the elite bat uh, again i mentioned he doesn't do damage but i wanted to show you that he confuses you so what that means is that your controls become reversed uh, for the period of time and you have to then be careful you know not to push uh, the, right, the wrong buttons to move in the wrong direction which i accidentally did so <laughs> i did want to show it to you guys and unfortunately i was talking about the other goblin and you know it kind of happened without uh, me mentioning it but that is the other attack it's kind of like the a supersonic attack from zubat i guess is where they kind of got their their inspiration from and uh, it confuses you like a supersonic attack for from a zubat would happen if you have no idea what i'm talking about guys it is pokemon you get a pokemon called zubat who is a bat and one of the moves is to confuse you using an attack called supersonic so the look and feel of the attack kind of has that zubat pokemon kind of feel to it and i'm thinking that's where the inspiration actually came from so you know that we've got bat creatures and having a high screech noise confuse you more than likely came from the pokemon game so we do actually have the second time trial shrine over here uh, it would be nice if we could get a magnet artifact but we can't we do have a 35 second time trial time shrine over here i think we'll be okay uh, i think we, we we're gonna be okay we'll be fine now there are other changes we are gonna get to them so you know just hold your horses we're gonna get to them uh, the shop is new there is a new NPC in the shop. And Gnocchi has another friend. It's besides for Woody. So now it is Woody, Gnocchi, and then the other character as well. I can't remember his name 100%. Something with a T. But we will look at what his name is anyway. Just to be 100% sure. And go from there anyway. Uh, really cool dude. He's very helpful towards us. And helps us out quite a bit. But, you know, obviously he wants our money. Which isn't really cool. <laughs> but we'll use our uh, healing pot artifact to get back our blue health and we're gonna keep going so we actually have nine levels so let's grab our ulti and start working on that so again like i said it was nerfed to the point where we don't have to use it as much it's probably better to still you know rush it so that you can get all of the buffs up and out of the way as soon as possible but uh you don't have to you know you're not going to get out of control like you did before if you rush it as soon as possible and get as many stacks as possible so you are limited now which is unfortunate but it was necessary 
Helga was way too overtuned, but again, if you want to, you know, farm more seeds with her before the nerf, you have a week, guys. You've got till the live update is released, so abuse Helga while she can. Uh, otherwise, you know, it is just how it is, and you got to kind of just live with it if you don't abuse her right now. All right, so those are the elites. That is uh, the new shrines that we've spoken about. Now we're going to get the new boss, Mama Flagamus. Uh, she has two attacks, uh, just like we the, all the other maps the first boss has. She doesn't go in any rage mode. That's her first attack. It is a hurtful supersonic. Uh, as you can see, it did hurt us and it confuses us as well. And there's her second attack where she swoops into the air and deals damage. Now, that can hit you multiple times, so you do need to be careful. And her supersonic attack is telegraphed, so she stops moving and you are able to then dodge from there. Uh, this attack as well, I don't know why people are struggling with it. I'm playing on Expert, I didn't have my ulti up. And uh, you can just move away from her and you dodge it as easy as that. So I'm not sure why a lot of people on Discord are saying this should be the final boss uh, compared to the other bosses that you get. And I'm not sure why people are struggling with it. It's not too difficult to see the telegraphed attacks and deal with them just like that. So you do have to keep your distance from the boss compared to some of the others, especially when it uses this Confuse Ray nonsense that it has. But maybe that's the part that everyone's struggling with. They're not giving themselves enough time or distance from the boss to give yourself enough a breathing space as well as time to kill it. So maybe that's what the problem is with people and what they've been having. But here we go. Tolkor is the gentleman's name. He is new to Gnocchi shop and he is going to be giving us some juicy relics. Well, we actually call them ra- uh, runs. <laughs> they're called ruins <laughs> ruins yeah that's right uh, and you can buy them for coins as well so i'm gonna grab myself some movement speed over here we're gonna grab ourselves uh, that for some uh you know our, our general uh experience gain we're gonna grab ourselves some of these boxes for some free uh, gold which we don't usually get unless you're playing on Helga you know gotta cheese it I didn't it's the only reason I take the birds right now on this build and we're gonna see what else we can get there's still a lot of relics that we can get that are helpful so we're gonna grab these we can grab the damage one as well re-roll once and hopefully we got screwed so <laughs> All right, so as you can see, another thing is one, the relics have colors to them. So there is your uh, your white, blue, purple, and com so we'll go common, rare, epic, and legendary. And their price changes depending on what the relic is. So we've picked up a greed over here. It helps with damage. We can't really afford anything else, unfortunately. We'll grab a rune. Look on the left, it increased our damage bar. Uh, I think that was 5% and that's what that does. So you need a lot more gold now when you're in the shop. So you need to be a bit more careful on what you are buying uh, in the stores just because you don't want to, you know, take any relic unless it really works for your build because now you are limited with uh, only having 199 gold and two, the relics, unless you have the discount option are going to cost you a lot more and therefore it is more consequential more consequential on what you buy compared to before this patch so you know you want to try and get 99 gold for every single store and you got to be careful on what you buy you need to buy the things for your build you can't just buy every relic and be like well, well that's a day uh, i bought absolutely every relic and every ruin that the store had to offer for 99 gold and we are now completely broken so it doesn't work that way anymore unfortunately it would be cool if it did but no it's a little bit busted if it did and that's okay anyway we don't need things to be broken to the point where it's not uh, a challenge so i see why they did it 
Okay, but now we have upgraded our cards twice, so we are going to be just chasing a lot of money that's going to be dropping for us. There's two of the little ogre hammer smith, I don't know what you want to call them, these ogres are uh, a problem usually for people when you don't have movement speed and other things available at your disposal. But we're gonna just keep going. Again, we're gonna be going for the gold. So we're gonna just keep moving towards all of the the gold that we see on the map. And hopefully we can get a lot of gold over here. We did just pick up like 25 gold there. So that's fantastic. The more the merrier. Obviously we do have greed. So we might not buy new things in the store. But obviously if we get our helmet, as well as like Astrid's shield and uh, you know relics that are very very helpful then we will buy them but otherwise it's not really worth buying the relics if they aren't going to be completely useful towards the build and as you can see every time I do see a magnet artifact on the ground I do use the other one in my inventory uh, that's why I'm not so worried about where I'm walking and we are able to just, uh, you know, pick up uh, whatever I want from the floor and move on directly after that. So we do want the duration over here, uh, area of effect as well. That's going to make our cards bigger and more better for destroying boxes. And yeah, I mean, this is on expert on the, the mode. Again, I did move my tree. We aren't really seed gathering. I uh, have been uh, changed the tree around so that we did get more cooldown, more damage and things like that. Just to make this, you know, my farming, the achievements and all of the relics and things like that a lot easier. We will then move into, you know, the more challenging uh, tree at a later stage. But for now, we we taking it easy. We showing you guys the new map, which by the way, looks fantastic. And we are showing you uh, all the new things that were released. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> the next mini boss, which I like to call them. So the next boss that we're going to be facing is also a really cool boss that uh, I, I know, I think is a really cool boss. I think everything that they've done here, they've put a lot of hard work into their game. One, look at the design of the characters. These goblins look really good. The bats look really good. Uh, the the first time you play this, it was an extreme challenge. Now, once you get used to it, it does become slightly easier, you know. Uh, but again, I have to tell you that this isn't the first time I'm trying to do the video. I have died like three or four times trying to record so it's still difficult doesn't matter how many times you do it uh, you can die from something that wasn't planned and <laughs> i think that's really good i think making things more challenging as you go in the game is really fantastic there is supposed to be a new character coming out as well as a new expert plus mode i don't think either of them have been released quite yet in the beta which is fun as well it's going to be really cool to see them when they are released on the, the uh, in the game when the update gets dropped for the live version for everyone so at least there's that as well and that's really cool so now we're just going to keep filling up the rest of our slots over here and then we're going to go look at getting all of our upgrades on everything else so we don't actually need the weapon over there upgraded we don't need the bird or our book of stars upgraded we only need the cards and we can start upgrading different relics that we'll pick up like our marty bow that we have over here so again we are looking to get our greed up just so that i mean not our greed our money up we do want our greed to be quite strong so we are happy to keep our money but if we do pick up something that's going to give us a really big advantage, then we will obviously level that up. I mean, buy it. Mm. Alright, I have been forgetting to use our special, our ultimate. We picked up a nice green... Uh, 
potion over there. And now we've got the next uh, mini boss. So as you can see, I'm walking around the edge. We cannot escape the arena while you are fighting this boss. So do make sure that you've picked up everything around you if possible. And if you have a magnet, use it because you ain't going to be able to pick anything up afterwards. And there's the one attack. It is a laser beam that spins around the the boss it does have a range so you can out like move out of the range like that if you feel like you don't have the movement speed for it whoops that was close and then it has a an attack where it just shoots uh projectiles at you kind of like our half grim staff attack so you know that is that on the boss the boss is dead we can move on we have a lot of skill points to use luckily we've got our uh, Valknut, uh Goblet over there. Uh, that is one of the best relics you can buy. We are going to do one reroll over here. See what else we get. I'm going to take all of these because they are fantastic. And we'll just spend all of our gold. Why not? Just because we do have greed, yes. But we are going to change that next. So... Again, one more surprise after the next uh, lot of time, but uh, you just got to watch. You just got to wait and watch, guys. So we're going to send our Marty bow over here. We've already got it, so why not? It deals a decent amount of damage. It's going to have a decent amount of crit. Hopefully, we can get damage and crit. I've got quite a lot of points to put in. So there we go, damage and crit. We'll ascend it. Why not increase the angle? get some more traction out here and that's practically our skill tree finished we've just got our birds and the book of stars we're not really worried about what we get on them either as we're not really interested in leveling them up too much anyway i mean you could be a perfectionist and reroll. we're gonna have so much xp it's actually ridiculous but we are looking for gold because of the greed so again now we just do the same thing we did where we're going to run around and collect gold and we're just going to pile on the damage and the spoilers comes in at the final boss so give it about five minutes and we'll be there and you're going to just see if you don't want the spoilers then that's fine if you do want to see what the spoiler is, I'll explain it when we get to that boss fight. But the spoiler is at the final boss fight. Also, if we get a magnet, you need to pay attention to the top of your screen at that timeline because you get teleported away very quickly and a lot of people haven't been using their magnets in time and it's causing quite a ruckus. So we are trying to see if maybe we can get a armor put in before you get teleported away so you've got time to use your magnet uh, i personally say that people need to just pay attention to the top of their their screen and see like oh okay we are nearly there let me use the magnet now instead of waiting for the very end and then you lose your chance to gain that uh all that XP that you could have got. So now that we've got our cards fully maxed out, I think we've probably used our ulti 20 odd times. So that should be maxed out as well. We can just take a look at that quickly. Let's just see. So we have our ulti is maxed 25 out of 25. It's not going to get stronger than that. So the stats are what we see over there and that's perfectly fine. We don't need it to get stronger and that's what uh, the the nerf to Helga was and that's okay I mean 25 times is still really really strong it still makes her quite a lot stronger than all the other characters and you know that's okay Helga is Helga and that's really cool I think the nerf was necessary and if she is too strong maybe she'll get a nerf further on but for now, she is uh, perfect the way she is. Uh, and again, if we find that people are leaning to just playing Helga alone again, then they'll probably nerf her even further. I think 25 again is also too strong. Remember, this is a, a buff that lasts a lot longer than any other creek, uh, character's ulti does. 
and she doesn't necessarily need it so I think even reducing the cooldown I mean the duration to be lower so increasing the du huh? reducing the duration uh, might be a good step as well for her just to get her more in line with the other characters so just a personal option I mean personal opinion uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with Helga but she is very very strong even with this nerf to her ulti she is still a lot stronger than the other characters so if it's something that people are going to moan about and complain about still then maybe they can you know knock something out of her ulti even more duration and cooldown wise and that will maybe put her more in check with the other characters all right we are 99 gold that was pretty easy we've got the xp uh, magnet over here we did just hear a chest drop so we're gonna go pick that up as well there's the magnet we are nearly at the time i mustn't forget to use the magnet guys otherwise i'm gonna be one of those people that complain <laughs> about uh, not having the <laughs> not having the magnet done uh man i'm sorry i'm laughing at that because it, i have done it to myself already where i'd be like oh come on why are you so silly why didn't you use it and i wasn't focused at the top so you do have to think about it guys i'm gonna use it now it's just because i know i'm gonna probably forget about it and i don't want to sorry about the lag over there but I think we had quite a lot of XP laying on the floor and we needed to get that all out of the system. So there we go. This is where the spoiler starts. So we do get one more shop, guys, before you fight the boss. It is only a rune shop and chests. So I'm going to spend, uh, I'd say about 50 gold just so we get the 50% increased damage. Again, you can get a lot of damage from the runes as well. So if you know you get these runes over here, that's 3% extra, 5% extra damage for 3 gold. So it does actually work to your favor to do that. So there is that to think about. But otherwise, again, we're going to go just to 50 gold and see what we can get. We're just going to do the runes, not the chests. And that is our gold done there because those were expensive runes. So we got a lot of movement speed. This is the spoiler time, guys. This is the final boss. Please, if you do not want the spoiler of what the boss is like on Expert, because the boss changes between easy, hard, and expert. Each difficulty, the boss is different and adds a new feature to him and completely different fights. So please, if you don't want these uh, to be something for you, spoiler-wise, Please make sure that you uh, look away now, so end the video. Otherwise, let's get straight into it. Alright, I'm not going to tell you what exactly changes. That's something you guys can figure out when you're playing the game yourself. But uh, yeah, there is differences in this boss fight compared to when you are playing it on hard or easy so please keep that in mind that is why i called it a spoiler but you guys thought the boss fight was dead when their health went to zero but guess what they combine into one entity that has a combination of all of their skills now a nice thing as well is because i have so much aoe it's kind of blocking what their attacks do so that's not really much of a spoiler for you guys but there we go boss fights done and dusted didn't take us too long we nearly had 4k dps on our cards which is huge but i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the update or the beta and you can't wait to play it as well and uh yeah that's it i can't wait to see what the new character is when they release it and uh, there are some new things that we need to try and make videos on in the game now as well so i hope you enjoyed the video Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And always remember, keep safe survivors. Until next time, cheers.